Uh, this seminar was already originally uh, planned to be a face-to-face -face event, but due to the uh, COVID crisis, uh, we had to postpone first, and now we have uh, the pleasure to be with you online. Uh, but I'm sure that it will be a, a also a very good success for, for, for this seminar. So uh, I think the subject is really important to, for today, but also this seminar is uh, the closure also of this uh, EIP work program, the first EIP work program. And so I would like to give you a little bit uh, what awards on achievement uh, over the past seven years. So to come with a certain number of figures since 2014, Regular calls in the CAP Rural Development Program has given rise to over 2,000 operational groups, and uh, more will see the light until the closure of, of, the, of the programs. On the research side, uh, around 200 uh, Horizon 2020 multi-actor projects were financed and are feeding the EU repository of knowledge ready for practice. And uh, last but not least, the open level networking activities mobilize more than uh, 6,400 experts in 120 networking events to exchange about innovative farming practices, needs for further action, research opportunities, and fostering capacity building. So it's really, uh, um, uh, it has been a pleasure to follow uh, over the past year the progress of EIP network. Uh, which has uh, become one of the most successful uh, and efficient EIP initiative. And I must say, I'm very proud uh, of, this, uh, of this success. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the people who have worked for this success. Uh, it's, uh, of course, uh, the, the, inside the commission, my teams, uh, but uh, our contractor, our, uh, uh, you are most of the, all there today, and all the participants. Without all the participants of, of this um, uh, network, it was impossible to have this uh, success. So now let me move uh, to the topic of uh, our seminar. LC soils are, of course, the, the, the foundation of agriculture and the basis for the production of safe and, uh, and nutritious uh, food. Soil is a, a key component for many ecosystem services, including regulation of nutrients and water cycles. And it can serve as a large carbon sink and provide shelter for a very rich uh, biodiversity. Uh, also, a key resource nowadays, more or less 60 to 70 percent of soils in the EU are unhealthy, threatened by land degradation, pollution, or the effect of uh, climate change. So, uh, we are very happy to observe uh, an increasing interest in soil by society, researchers, farmers, media, and other stakeholders. And of course, the, the, the EU policies and programs also reflect this recognition of uh, soils as the vital resource for our lives. And as you know, the, uh, at the beginning of the new commission, uh, the commission adopted the European Green Deal, which is a set of uh, policy initiatives with an ambitious uh, objective of a climate neutral, sustainable and resilient Europe and uh, they advocate for LC soils to meet its goal on food security, climate, and, and biodiversity. So uh, based on this uh, Green Deal, the biodiversity and the farm to fork strategies set ambitious targets for the reduction of the use of pesticides, fertilizers, for decrease in nutrient losses, and for the increase of agricultural land uh, under organic farming. And uh, the commission has just recently adopted an action plan uh, to meet these targets of 25% of uh, land, uh, organic land in, uh, in 2030. Uh, but um, none of these targets can be reached without acting on soils. So, on the, on the research side, the flagship initiative will certainly be the Horizon Europe mission on soil health, with its objective that by 2030, at least 75 of all soil in each member state are either healthy or show a significant improvement. So this uh, mission is under preparation. You will have the possibility today to uh, listen more uh, because uh, we have uh, the, the vice chair of the mission board with, uh, with us. 
Um, the mission represents really a novel approach to reach uh, innovation, uh, to, for research innovation, and they will work really in tandem with the other policies and in particular with the, the, the CAP. Um, and uh, inside the CAP, you have the EIP Agri, and that will help to test, demonstrate, and deploy solutions with real impact on the ground. It will be a really powerful tool to encourage change in practices in agriculture, in forestry, and within the soil safety of the world, because we are, the intention is not to touch only uh, agriculture, agriculture, soil, or forestry, but also uh, all the type of soils, including urban soil. So uh, for Horizon Europe, the Commission will also pursue large-scale research innovation with a partnership on agroecology and living labs, and uh, that will, uh, will develop with the member state and will help to boosting uh, the adoption of soil-friendly uh, practices. On the side of the, of the future CAP, we are still uh, on the negotiation between the co-legislator, three uh, out of the nine objectives will target soils, and the green architecture of the new CAP will enhance and improve the environmental and, and climate action. Uh, of course, the new CAP will also enhance the activity of the EIP Agri, which already now contributes substantially to the protection of essential natural resources on which farming depends. And uh, we will, of course, based uh, this uh, new uh, EIP Agri or the, the, the new stage of EIP based on our experience. And uh, I think it's always possible to improve uh, what is already a success. Um, indeed, more than half of the 2000 operational group I just mentioned uh, uh, that have been, been established are working on topics linked to soil management and improvement of soil health. And this, together with the, the various focus group and the networking events like the, the seminar, contribute to boosting soil innovation, research implementation on the ground by those who are the most directly involved, of course, I mentioned the farmers. Um, to be up to the future challenges, a systemic approach needs need to be ensured that knowledge circulates widely is channeled to those who need it and effectively use it. Uh, and support and promotion of training, advice, innovation services and dedicated innovation networking are equally important. Uh, and that will be supported by EIP Agree to build an effective uh, agricultural knowledge innovation system very well known under the acronym ACIS. So uh, that is, from one side, but we have other EU and uh, initiative targeting soil, complementing this action I've just mentioned. And this uh, in a initiative will be presented to you during this seminar. Uh, that will give you a complete uh, picture of what we intend to do for, for, for soil. So LC soils are crucially important for our future. But I'm convinced that by joining forces, we can reverse the negative trend and to set a path towards the restoration of soil health all over Europe. We need to be ambitious, but we need, of course, to be also realistic. realistic. So today and tomorrow, uh, we will have the opportunity uh, and the privilege to listen to your experience and opinion. We'll, we'll hear you about the opportunities and success factors, but also about the challenges and countries constraints you face. And I'm sure that your contribution uh, inside your recommendation from the ground will provide a very valuable input uh, to our activities and initiatives. So uh, thank you very much uh, for joining us for the seminar. I wish you a fruitful discussion and I'm very much looking forward to, for our exchanges. Thank you.